What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and happy Mother's Day and I hope you guys of course enjoying and spending time with your moms. And today's video, I'll be of course talking about the best and worst mothers in Ninjago. Some of them, you know, are some of the worst parenting ever, but some of them are hard uh, felt and sweet mothers. So let's go through uh, some of Ninjago's best and worst mothers of all time. So starting with the most well-known mother, we of course got Masako Garmadon. Now Masako is definitely one of the worst Ninjago mothers. Now I know some people praise her, but you know Masako kind of abandoned you know Lloyd when he, you know he was young. To investigate more about the prophecy of Green Ninja and do some archaeologist stuff. So basically, you know, Lloyd didn't have any parenting. You know, he was at boarding school, and Masako didn't care for you know his son. So yeah, but once of course she returned to his son, yeah. But that was a weird reunion to meet with your mother at the museum when you're the Green Ninja. So yeah, Masako is kind of the worst Ninjago moms out there. And I know some people praise her, but this is my opinion right here. But moving on. Now let's talk about the opposite of Masako. That being of course Coco. Now Coco actually cares about Lloyd other than Masako. And she's of course a very supportive and caring mother to Lloyd. And one of the scenes being of course uh, Coco being concerned about Lloyd, which Masako doesn't even care about Lloyd because you know Lloyd is very powerful and I feel like Masako doesn't even care about Lloyd or be concerned. Maybe slightly but Coco is really you know, concerned about Lloyd's whereabouts and stuff like that. And yeah, she's actually like a mom. Also, she's also she's of course the, the Lady Iron Dragon. I don't know, is, is she a ninja, a samurai? I'm not too sure. But you know, at least Coco is more better than Masako. Now let's talk about Liber or Libby or L Liber. I think it's Libby. But you know. Uh, the elemental master of Lightning being Jay's actual uh, birth mom. Now, basically, she's like Masako, and that's basically it. We don't see anything else about her other than she's basically like Masako, you know, leaving Jay to edit Edna's doorstep and then abandoning, abandoning his son. But, you know, Masako's reasoning to abandon Lloyd to boarding school was to find a way uh, to defeat evil of the prophecy of the Green Ninja. However, with Jay's birth mom, we don't know why, you know, she did it. So basically, it's unknown why, you know, Jay's birth mother gave to, of course, Edna. But, you know, it's just a copy and paste character with the exact same, you know, uh, thing. So, you know, bad, bad mom right there. But speaking of Edna, let's talk about Edna. Now, Edna is a really care, uh, very caring, uh, supportive mom to, of course, Jay. And being an elderly mom, you know, is very kind and very heartfelt with, of course, Jay. And I really like Jay with, of course, Ed and Edna together, then, of course, Jay's birth parents, which kind of sucked, but, you know, I really like Edna's character, to be honest, and, you know, she isn't that bad of a character, and she's pretty neutral, so I think that she's actually a pretty good mom right there. Now, let's talk about the only uh, species mom, which being, of course, Selma, which is, of course, Scales's, uh, uh, you know, wife and of course the mom of Skills Jr. Now uh, Selma, she's actually pretty neutral and pretty chill of a mom and that's basically what I'm gonna say about her. Moving on I guess. 
Now let's talk about Sora's mom, because she's kind of a dick in you know, of course Dragon's Rising. And hey, good I'm happy for Sora, you know, not uh, you know, going and choosing, you know, her parents and the ninjas. So I'm, I'm happy for, you know, Sora choosing the right path instead of going back to of course her parents. And their their parents suck and they're kinda of stupid, to be honest. And basically, you know, Sora's mom's a dick, and that's basically her trait. She believes of the Empress, but not her own daughter. So that's basically it. Sora's mom kind of sucks, and even, you know, the dad as well. So I think uh, she's probably by far the worst than Jago mom, probably beside Masako. But yeah, she isn't a great mom. She didn't even support, you know, Sora's, you know, projects and stuff like that in the Imperium after the event system slab. So yeah. Plus, they didn't even fed Sora. So yeah. Maybe once if she's good, but that's basically it. Now let's talk about a true mom, which being, of course, Lily. Now, I really love Cole's flashback with Lily, and of course, I really love the flashback before she, of course, passed after an unknown sickness. And, you know, I actually really like Lily, you know, being a very supportive mom and, of course, caring about Cole. Unlike, of course, Masako, which I'm talking too much about Masako, and I'm sorry. If you're a Masako fan, then great, but if you're not, then yeah, you can see why no one likes Masako because you never s see her ever again. So yeah, and Lily is just a fantastic and very heartfelt mom. But nowadays we just don't see, of course, Lily anymore. But the final, of course, Ninjago mom we gotta talk about is probably one of the best supportive moms out there, and it's of course Maya, Kai, and Nia's mom. Now. I really love, you know, Maya. Personally, she's probably the best Ninjago mom in the franchise because she's very heartwarming of a character. She likes to, of course, help her kids. She likes to, of course, uh, you know, uh, cl clean up after their kids, like in Seabound, where, of course, she cleans uh, Nia's, you know, room, and you know she likes to cook, and she cooked breakfast for Nia, and of course loves to sneak into, of course, the ninja's, you know, journey, and yeah, Maya's a wonderful and great supportive mom, and by far the most caring and very supportive mom in, of course, Ninjago. But what do you guys think? Comment down below of who is the best and worse than Jago moms out there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this Mother's Day video. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications whenever I post a brand new video. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!